Hey guys, Kai here. So I'm going to be doing a different sort of video today. I actually typed this one out because I tend to ramble, if you guys haven't noticed. So anyway, today I'm going to be doing things YouTube taught me. Okay, so aesthetic. Don't lie to me, before YouTube or Tumblr or Instagram, you really didn't put that much effort into your environment, I guess. I mean, sure, you tried to make it look nice, but since I started YouTube, I have become upset with how my background looks. Like, let's just spend hours online looking at backdrops or backgrounds or anything, and how can you decide what one to get? Like, do you want a plain white one or a black one, or one that has sparkles, or one that has, like, some really cool decoration on it? Like, I found this one that was, like, like a wood thing, but it was, like, blue and old-timey and pretty, and I was just like, yeah. So, um, what do you get? What is aesthetically pleasing? <sighs> Help me. <laughs> okay, number two faces yep I talked a little not really about this I made fun of myself in a video but anyways Ugh, look at my fringe gap you guys this uh, when your hair behaves before you go to make a video and then you sit down to make it and it's just like Psh, that man okay so if you've ever filmed yourself that sounds wonderful for YouTube or Instagram or Vine or whatever, or for anything, you you start to notice how awkward your face is. Now, I'm not saying it's ugly or anything. I'm sure you guys watch my channel, and I'm perfect, so therefore that makes you perfect. But come on, like how do you think memes are created? Like your face does this wonderful thing, and then someone pauses it, and they're just like, wow. When you're filming yourself or whatever, you think you're making normal faces, but you're not. Trust me, if if you go back through that and pause it at random times, your face is more than likely going to be doing some really weird, awkward thing. Just trust me. So, if you guys think your face is completely normal and you've never made any awkward faces, then please go sit down in front of your camera, laptop, phone, film yourself, and then watch it, you know, after you watch it, and then you're like, it's normal. Don't lie. Don't even lie. Everyone knows. Like, those of us who sit in front of cameras for hours, we know. We know. So don't lie. Okay, so number three. Accent. Now, saying about the whole watching yourself talking, this is about how you sound. Like, accent, obviously. Now, someone once told me that I was like a sponge with accents. Now, what does that even mean, first of all? And second, what? <laughs> I can't do accents to save my life, but apparently, whenever I'm around someone who has an accent, different from mine I start talking like that now since that was pointed out to me all I can think when I'm around someone with an accent now is oh my god I'm gonna start talking like that and offend them and they're gonna get mad at me but hopefully they'll notice that I am uh, just a moron and I'm not doing it on purpose it, it just sort of happens I'm sorry I assume I have a southern accent I don't live in the south well I live where people consider the South, but I don't think it's the South. It's not really Southern. I don't have a drawl most of the time. <clears throat> I just, <clears throat> it, it's me. It's it's how I talk. So, yep. I get told a lot, though, that I sound Canadian, like how I say girls and sorry and stuff like that. But, come on. You're telling me I'll say girls and sorry. We are all socially awkward. So while we're judging ourselves, let's add one more thing. Does anyone actually know how to act around people? Or act? <laughs> oh my gosh. Well this is functioning into what I was going to say. I didn't use that right. Do you know how to act when you're alone? For that matter? <laughs> um, me neither. You just sit there. Or when something funny happens, do you actually laugh out loud or do you just do like that silent laugh thing? 
but seriously, all of us are socially awkward, you guys. We don't know how to act anywhere. I just defend people. Like, <laughs> that's what I do. Or I'll make so many sarcastic jokes that they're like, oh my god, can't you take anything serious and leave? Because life is too short to be serious, you guys. Come on. Come on. Why so serious? Alright. Anyways. Music. So. So. YouTube has that copyright thing. Thanks. So you can either play 20 seconds of a song you like. Or you can go online for hours or days sometimes looking for music that you like so you can play the whole song and now some of those songs you can just use without like including the author in the description but some you actually have to do that but anyways it's difficult looking for decent music that you like and now I'm sure we all know that what we like other people probably don't like because we're so weird but you know what you're gonna get whatever I like, which is so much crap. <clears throat> Anyways, if you've never done that, you're missing out. That's literally how you should spend your Friday night. And since these videos go up on Wednesday, you aren't gonna like forget Friday. Sit there and look up copyright free music that you can use. Even if you don't have YouTube, just just do it. it you'll love it. Okay. So, last one. You're excited, aren't you? You're like, dear lord, just stop talking. I yet. Almost there. I promise. Almost there. You are not alone, okay? A big thing YouTube has taught me, or Tumblr, or Instagram, or just like a majority of social media websites except Facebook, like, I know people have pages for themselves on Facebook. Since so many family members and stuff use Facebook, I doubt that that many of us are actually are true nerds on there. I know I'm not. Like, I'll, I'll post a nerdy thing every once in a while, but like, if it was like my Tumblr or Instagram or something, oh my god. Like, holy crap, I'd be getting judged. But that's okay. But what I was saying is that you're not alone. If you go on YouTube or Tumblr or Instagram, aesthetically pleasing people live on Instagram you will more than likely find someone who is into the same things you are. Now, I know that everyone talks about how bad social media is and how rude people can be, and yeah, there are those horrible people who say such rude things that it's like you never want to go online again. But if you just push through, you will find someone who has the same interest as you and likes the same things as you and that douche nozzle who was a complete a-hole isn't gonna matter because now you have online friends who you know are probably very good at computers and can just delete that person off the internet because come on nerds are typically more good at computers than I am anyways you're not alone, you guys! I know the internet is huge and the world is huge, but you will find someone who likes the same things as you. And that's that. Like, my god, I've gotten so passionate about this, but you are not alone! And if you ever feel lonely, just go on Tumblr for like 13 hours a day. You'll find people who like the same things as you. So I don't film that much because I'm always on Tumblr or Instagram or Pinterest or YouTube. If I say YouTube last. Anyways, self-promoting is still embarrassing, you guys. And on that note, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And I'm going to go have an existential crisis. I'll see you guys in my next video. We don't know when that's going to be. But it'll be here eventually. Hopefully not in a year. Bye! What are you doing? <laughs>